and welcome to Yoga Nasanas. I am Anna and today we have a sweet and short class dedicated to our feet. So whenever you're ready, let's get in a comfortable seated position of your choice. And just taking a few the first few seconds to set in with yourself so you can soften your gaze or close your eyes and simply breathe be in touch with what it feels like to breathe right now nothing to do nowhere to go, you're just in the right place. And right away bring your attention, bring your thoughts towards your feet. And with curiosity, with gentleness, pose yourself this question. What is the purpose of my feet? What role do my feet play in my daily life? And very soon you will realize how important your feet are. They're the foundation they keep you stable, they help you with balance and to go from one place to another. And that's why today we're going to give them some love. So what we're going to begin with is by give, giving our feet a gentle massage. Yes, when was the last time that you massage your feet? So take your thumbs and we're going to go into circles in the arch arches <laughs> of your feet. And very gently you decide how much pressure you want to apply in this area so many people go by their day without paying attention to their feet you know and there's so many nerves and so many tiny little weeny even bones and muscles and when you feel satisfied with this massage with massage with your thumbs then we're gonna use the rest of our fingers in the top and massage as if you were combing your fingers are like a comb in your hair but in your feet and you just go back and forth on the top of your feet yeah Observe any sensations, if you can feel any difference between the left and the right foot. Hopefully you do, <laughs> and that's very normal. That's very common because we have a dominant side. So in yoga, when we work one side separate than the other, we can really begin to observe what's my dominant side. And it also happens with your feet. Great, now we're gonna keep using the rest of our fingers and we're gonna interlace the fingers and the toes. So just one by one begin to insert your fingers in your toes creating more space in your toes and, and once you have your feet and your fingers, your toes and your fingers entangled then bring them outside further from your one another and bring them to the center and inhale open and feel some tension hopefully being released if it's painful then go back a little bit and push it and exhale bring them forward and now continue this a few times at your own pace This is a great opportunity to connect with your toes, with your feet, the sole of your feet. Just observe 
be curious and maybe after today you realize that it is good it would be good to give them some love and some attention every now and then this is something you can very easily do before you go to bed or first thing in the morning or after a long walk yeah okay release the fingers and go back to a comfortable seated position we have paid some attention to our feet but we are gonna work with the whole body so let's continue by warming the neck and the shoulders up so inhale bring your chin closer to your chest feel the stretch behind your neck observe with curiosity hmm how's my neck feeling right now and without further ado let's roll the neck and inhale bring the chin closer to the right shoulder exhale roll it all the way to the left shoulder inhale chin goes to the right shoulder exhale to the left and don't forget to maintain the integrity the alignment in the spine Great. If you feel comfortable, if your cervicals feel comfortable, then go and do a full circle with your neck. Otherwise, keep doing where we were doing the half circles. And switch direction. Awesome. Inhale. Bring the hands at the heart. Bring your head to the center. Exhale. Lower the shoulders. Inhale, bring the hands in front of you, bring your forearms together and exhale, open the arms in cactus arms or 90 degrees arms, bringing your scapula, your shoulder blades closer together, opening your heart forward, shining through your chest. And inhale, bring the arms closer together and exhale, open, smile, shine wiggle the fingers and again inhale close and inhale close and exhale open up release any tension in the front part of the body tense the back part a little bit contract and inhale and exhale open and bring your hands to the knees and let's do some cat cow variations when we're seated so inhale bringing the chest forward the belly forward bending slightly the back the shoulders are down and exhale chin to chest round your spine inhale forward lower your shoulders curve your back and your belly forward exhale do the opposite movement and continue at your own pace for as long as you keep synchronizing the movement with your breath, dancing in this meditation, this movement, moving meditation called yoga, the union of the body and the mind. Okay, last time you're in the cat position with your spine curve and your chin to your belly hold it there for a few seconds inhale come to the center and let's go to all fours check your alignment if you have a sensitive wrist then you can always come to your fists and check that your shoulders are over your wrist that your hips are over your knees, you're pressing with your feet against the floor and right away inhale straightening the right leg, placing the toes, the right toes on the floor, all of them. Maybe you need to move the leg differently, make some adjustments and begin to move back and front. So this movement originates on your right toes and you're pressing so much so against the mat that is moving causing a chain reaction to your whole body from your toes to the crown of your head and feel the sensations on the sole of the right foot 
the toes, those five toes working like they never usefully do, just pressing, activating those muscles, giving your calves a gentle stretch and keeping the arms active, pressing against the mat. On your next inhale, bring your right knee close to the left knee. And exhale, pause for a few seconds, observe the sensations on your right foot. Inhale, straighten the left foot and right away. Begin to create the similar motion that we just did with the other leg. Activate all the toes of your left foot and their strength is so much that it can move your whole body. Those tiny toes compared to the rest of your body are so strong and if you don't feel they're strong you're making them stronger you're helping them to get stronger connect with your breath as well with the sensations on the toes beautiful on your next inhale bring the left leg close to the right one and lower your buttocks sit on your heels and just pause for a few seconds. Maybe you wanna do some roll on your wrists to give them a rest. And while you do that, actually lift your bum up, tuck your toes, and yes, sit on your toes, sit on your heels. And just ignore if the sensations for now and focus on the hands instead. And your breath, keep breathing. Don't think too much about what's going on in your feet because this is a very intense stretch. So instead, look at your hands. Imagine you're a beautiful flamenco dancer. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing flamenco, at least not today. And how are your feet doing? How does it feel? Okay, let's give it a rest and let's come back to tabletop and just give the, your feet a shake. Oh, yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Have a look at the position of your hands and place your elbows where your hands are and bring in the forearms down. And now that we have warmed up the toes, we're gonna come to a forearm plank. So straightening the legs, if this is not possible for you today, place your knees on the mat. If you wanna activate your core, engage the whole body, create a little bit of energy, then lift the knees, lower your trunk, your buttocks, find your alignment, keep pressing against the mat with the forearms and also with the toes. Okay, and you can also interlace your fingers if that feels easier for you or for your shoulders and right away like we were doing don't think so much about the plank just feel the sensations and activate the muscles of your toes they're so strong they're pushing you back and forth come on yeah if you feel a little bit of shaking there's the energy being released breathe deeply breathe all the way down beyond the frontier of your belly button. Okay, and we're here for four, and three, two, one, lower the knees, release the toes, open your arms if they were interlaced, and pose here in a sphinx pose, in a sphinx asana for a few seconds. If this pose is too intense for your lower back, then bring your arms forward and decrease the angle of your lower back. If you feel okay here, then activate <laughs> your muscles. This is not a restorative pose in itself. We're activating, so keep pressing with the legs against the mat, keep pressing with the forearms against the floor, your fingers are also active. So your toes and your fingers are pressing, defying gravity. Almost as if they wanted to lift your body again, but they're not. You're here in a sphinx, in a beautiful sphinx pose. And with your heart, with your chest, see if you can 
bring it forward and open up. Let the light of your heart shine forward. Let the sun shine in. <laughs> Sorry, that's what came to my mind. Okay, so opening the elbows on both sides and creating a funky pillow. Place one hand, then the other hand on top. Rest your forehead, lower your chest. Oh, mm. Okay, great work. And let's do a little bit of a lower back workout and activation. So bringing the arms on either side, a little bit wider than the, your shoulders, your palms are facing down. Bring your legs closer together and on the inhale, lifting the arms and activating your core and also activating your lower back. Okay, ah, beautiful. Feel how your breath helps you. Massage the internal organs. And inhale one more time and on the exhale lower very, very slowly, very gently. Place your forehead on the ground. Inhale deeply, make the best of these tiny seconds of rest. And on the next inhale, begin to peel your forehead away, raising your chest, raising your arms, and at the same time, include the legs. Yeah, here we are, only the trunk and the top part of the thighs should be in touch with the floor. Unless you have any difficulties, then just adapt, adjust it and listen to your body. But if you're here, then let's move the arms behind as if we were flying. Yeah. <laughs> Keep breathing and hopefully the breath moves you. And inhale, fill your lungs with air, raise a little tiny bit and exhale, lower everything down. Surrender to gravity for a few seconds, let go. <sighs> Okay, the last variation of this. Inhale, lengthening the chest with the arms behind, the palms are facing down. And right away, raise your legs, bend your knees and see if you can catch your legs. If you cannot, that's okay. You can do one of the other variations, options that we just did. We build it up, but if you can, then press with your feet against your hands and raise your legs. Ooh, it's hard with my band in my wrist because I cannot fully grab my foot. But anyway, keep pressing and your arms are pressing the other way around. Yeah, maybe you can feel your hip bones against the floor. And inhale, lengthening slightly and exhale. Yes, you guessed it, right? Release everything down and find your funky pillow. Ah, one hand on top of each other, releasing the legs, relaxing the arms, feeling the weight of your head. And let's flip it around. Let's go lay down, face up, but with your knees bended. Bring them very close to your buttocks. We're gonna do some Setu Bandhasana, but before we do, I would like to give you a little bit of description, some cues. So when you're up, your hips are up, the knees don't go out, okay? So before we start lifting the buttocks, I would like you to press with your feet down, but as if you were trying to bring the feet further away, closer to the edges of the mat. So press down with the feet and out, without moving the legs, okay? That's the action of the feet. And at the same time, you are activating your abductors, the inner thigh, and bring them together. 
This is before we even lift the glutes, because once we're up, if we try to do this motion, it's not possible because the hip is busy with other things, okay? So press with your feet, experience that sensation down and out. And at the same time, do activate your abductors as if you were trying to bring your knees closer to each other, okay? That's the motion. And once you're here, inhale very gently, begin to peel the glutes up and vertebra by vertebra you lift in setu bandhasana bridge pose <sighs> keep breathing feeling the connection of your feet activating their feet they're down and away and at the same time you're trying to bring your abductors your inner thighs together the arms are soft in this moment and inhale, lengthening a little bit more, and exhale very gently, down, bend down, go back to the floor. Breathe. Okay, we're going to do it again, and I'll give you a different option. Now, again, before we start peeling the spine up, press with your feet against the floor, and down and out out as both either side of the mat but at the same time you bring your knees closer to each other activating the thighs feel this actually you can place your hands on your inner thighs and feel when you try to bring your knees together how the muscles get pulled get active okay connect with that and on the inhale begin to peel activate your glutes tighten your buttocks and let's go up and you have the option to stay here or you can come to your toes because we're working the feet today and you can come to your toes and feel how the angle becomes higher you're a little bit further away and if you're on your toes keep pressing with your toes activating them and your glutes are active and you're up doctors so your inner thighs are also active because you're pressing to the middle beautiful okay inhale deeply length an inch a millimeter and exhale lower down the spine and once the spine is down then release the feet and straightening the legs we come to shavasana hi shavasana Okay, here we are, corpse pose. If you don't know what you gotta do, let me tell you, your body knows. Your body knows how to disentangle if you let it. So whatever thoughts you've got, see if you can park them for now, just not following the train of thought and bringing the attention to the body. Connect with your breathing. If you know how to do the oceanic Ujjayi breath, then do, otherwise just feel your body being breath. If you get lost in thought, that's okay. That's absolutely common. Just say, no, thank you, not right now. And come back very gently to your breath and your Shavasana. To your corpse, to your body.
beautiful and very gently begin to bring back some movement in your body by wiggling the toes our lovely 10 toes that we've worked today be proud of them be proud of your feet going into circles with your ankles or your hands and maybe bringing the knees on the chest and move, moving them from side to side just find something that you know your body deserves right now and give it to it and very gently at your own pace i'll wait for you coming back to a seated position of your choice and once you're here in this seated position just taking of these last few seconds to connect with your body right now the sensations of your body you can soften your gaze close your eyes connect within you don't need anything from outside everything you require right now is within can you feel any difference even if it's just a tiny bit right now compared to a few minutes ago when we started the class and even if you do feel any difference or you don't just take some time to thank yourself for taking the space granting yourself the space and the energy to do this class with me thank you for practicing with me and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.